Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again for our time together. I'd like us to come back to the words of the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 today. He begins in verse 33. Do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. So, you know, you need to choose who you hang out with. Now he's writing to the church. Wake up from your drunken stupor as is right and do not go on sinning. So Paul had a problem with drinking Christians in the city of Corinth. And he said, would you wake up from your drunken stupor and, st and do not go on sinning? Now, we need to say that to many Christians today. Would you wake up from your drunken stupor and do not go on sinning? Now, I know this isn't popular, but uh, it's not my job to be popular. It's my job to be pastor. And then he says why Christians should wake up from their drunken stupor and do not go on sinning. Why? For some have no knowledge of God. I say this to your shame. I say this to your shame. Paul said, listen, don't you understand? Your ability to share the gospel, your, your, your ability to minister to people flows from the reputation of your lifestyle. And if by your lifestyle you show that your life is no different than theirs, that you're drunk in the clubs just like they are, that there's no hope for, for them because they see no hope in any change in your lifestyle. He said, listen, these people have no knowledge of God. He said, I say this to your shame. Now, Christians, forgive me. Young people, forgive me. But straight talk. It's time that Christians get out of the clubs, get out of your drinking, get out of your excusing and taking a few verses and twisting them to, to make it seem justified. And as Paul would say, don't go on sinning because you look across our city. We live in a city that needs Jesus. Now, they don't need to see our perfection, but they do need to see that Jesus has changed our life and he can change their life. <laughs>